All right, so explain to me, explain to the viewers what we're doing right now. All right, so we're putting the ramps underneath to get the car up to be able to fit underneath to get the uh, drain plug off. Okay. Some people might have questions. Well, wouldn't that not leave the car level? It's okay if the drain plug is at the back of your oil reservoir because it's all going down. Anyways, so we're gonna lift, put the car under here. Unscrew that oil plug, put the pan under there, drain the oil, and then once the oil is drained, put the plug back on, take off the oil filter, let that drain as well, put the new oil filter on it. There you go. There you go. It's done deal. Fill it back up. Yep. All right. All right. So right now he is going to be moving it onto those ramps. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. He's almost there, he's almost there, he's almost there. You're good, you're good. So now my car is on stilts. So, uh, and for your oil tank. That's the drain plug right there. Okay. So it's on, located on the back of your oil reservoir. All right. Which is why it's okay to put the car on the ramps and have it unlevel because all the oil is gonna fall back toward this way. Got it. So we're gonna unscrew this. Put that oil pan underneath for it to catch all of the oil and then wait till it drains. Okay, let's do it. So we have the oil pan a little bit toward the back, almost aligned with the with the screw because it's gonna fall out that way. Got it. Okay. Let me grab a different socket. Ugh. All right. All right. Make sure you have the right socket. Come under here. Underneath. You're gonna wanna. on there and then this right here this oil is gonna come pouring out so you're gonna want to move your hand pretty quick still kind of stuck on there okay you're gonna want to move your hand pretty quick let's see that speed and then bring it out and then oh look at it there it is so it's peeing on down <laughs> yes sir okay that's why I wear gloves, good to wear gloves. It gets a little messy. So now we just wait for that to drain. And in the meantime, we can get the oil filter out. All right. So let's see where it's located. Sometimes you can access them from down here. Sometimes you access them from in the hood. Okay. So I'm pretty sure, yep, this is up higher. Oh, it's almost drained. Yep. Look at that. It was dude. Disgusting. Yep. I'm gonna put some fresh oil in there. <laughs> and they hit it. <laughs> That's your oil filter. Oh, you got a different one. Okay, okay. All right. We will continue to look for it. The search continues. The search continues. Look at that grip strain. He's hand doing it. Yeah. And then it stops and then it goes and then it stops. This one will need something. <laughs> and there's two up here too. Well, alright. Okay, this right here. I'm gonna get the tool. This right here. 
here. What is that? This tool? Yeah. So this tool is a, it takes off oil caps. So no matter mm. what size, it'll go from this size to this size, you know, you just put it on there. So like say it's big, get it on there and it works. You just turn it. So nice. Now, instead of trying to get a big giant wrench, you know? Right. It's very useful. There is your oil filter. All right. We struck gold. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't realize it was gonna be this tight. Shoot. Okay, so. I'll let this grip. I actually have a towel that I will grab to prevent it from getting <laughs> on your motor because I care about your motor and I care about your pavement. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Pull this out. Put it here temporarily. Does that look like the same thing we bought? We will double check. <laughs> Just to see. I mean, I think it looks like it. All right. Do they look like they match? No. Mm. What year did you tell him? 2012. Is it a 2012? <laughs> it's either 2012 or 2009. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. We can go back. <laughs> we can always go back. <laughs> now. Always go back. So. Therefore. We will. Bring we'll the filter. Figure out. Leave the filter. We'll figure out how this goes in. What are you doing next? Okay. Well, we are going to be putting the screw back in from the drain plug. So. Cool. <laughs> like that. There it is. Now, we will tighten it on there. You don't want to strip it, but just have it tight enough so it won't fall out. So it won't fall out. All right, easy enough. There we go. One more little torque. And that's it. You don't want to overstrip. I don't want to strongly land myself into it. No, you don't want to break the car in half, Kai. <laughs> it might happen. You never know. You never know. Now that that's done, it's all good. All right. Mm -hmm. So then I guess we can move my car down. We can get the oil pan out. Very carefully. Very carefully. <laughs> Let's just take this to AutoZone. You think they'll take it? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Okay. You don't have no uh, empty milk cartons? No. So what do we do with the, what do we do with this? So the excess oil, you put in the empty milk cartons. And once you put it in the empty milk cartons, you wrap the top of it, the cap, with blue tape. Okay. Or else they won't take it. 
because that's a proper seal. So you want to make sure that you wrap the top with blue tape, masking tape, and then on your garbage day, set it out in your driveway, and then once the garbage guy comes by, he'll take them for you. Okay. And I'll dispose of them properly. All right. Yes, sir. Got it. I think I got that. Yes, sir. And those up? What? No, we didn't. I don't think so. So, now, we are back. Now that we found the right oil filter. Hopefully it's the right oil filter. Hopefully. Which I'm pretty sure it is. Well, like 90% sure it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to go ahead and look right in there. So we're going to put this in there and screw it down. So I just want to make sure that it doesn't... It, we got instructions to say top or bottom. Okay. I assume that other side is the top, right? So this right here. Last time the words were on the top. We just put it in right here. Another one just sat in there. Now this is what's gonna tighten it down, and hopefully this one would fit. So we're just gonna make sure. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so, I got scared there for a sec. I, so did I. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna tighten that down. Okay, now we're gonna grab the tool. Now we're gonna tighten it on there. Quick torch and that's it. Okay. Now that that's on there nice and tight, you can't take it off with your hand. Now. I don't know. My hand's pretty strong. Oh. Don't, don't, <laughs> you don't even need no tools under here, man. All you need to do is you, that grip strength you got. So, see what it's manual. You always see the type of oil you need on the oil cap. 5W20. Okay. That's what we got right here. And then do I need my hand? Oh wait, you have your hand dandy. Uh, I have a handy dandy thing right here. Then we're gonna grab the oil. <clears throat> Make sure it's the right one. 5W20. And because this car has over 75,000 miles on it, you always wanna make sure you get the right type of oil for your vehicle. Got it. Because the more miles you put on your car, the, your car, excuse me, the more thicker oil you need. Thick. Yep, super thick. Okay. Now you want to just start nice and slow. Don't do too much at a time. Just let it feed in there. Look how much cleaner that looks, guys. Looks nice, like honey. I would then, not recommend eating this, though. Yep. Or drinking it. <laughs> Highly not recommend. So every once in a while, you want to stop and check. Drop and roll. <laughs> stop, drop and roll. You can do that, too. <laughs> that, you can do that, too. You want to make sure just to see how much oil you have. So this right here is going to be... A different type of oil. This is transmission. <laughs> I checked the wrong one. Yellow is always engine oil. There's always going to be a yellow, which is right here. That was my fault. Oh my. <laughs> so, engine oil. It's always going to be right here. Check, I mean, we should check the transmission fluid. So wipe it off that wouldn't be bad. Yeah. Put it back in there for a clean. Test, pull it out. Okay, yep, you are empty. Let's fill her up. <laughs> now let's just double check. There's a little bit left in there. Let's see how far we got. There's barely any left in there. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. right there. So look at that. Almost to the full. We're about right there. Okay, just double check it real quick. Okay. 
Okay, we are about right there. Top it off just a little. Just a tad. Just a pulse. All right, now, this is what comes up. Look at that. Brand new full engine oil. Woo! Look, Look at that, how guys. clean that is. Easy, so clean. Yeah, compared Can't to that. Can't even see it. Can't even see it. <laughs> Crisp. And there you go. Once you put that in there, get your funnel. Clean all your parts that you used. Always make sure you do a thorough inspection of your engine to make sure there's no tools left inside. Especially a phone. <laughs> Especially your phone. You do not want to leave your phone in there. Who would do that? That's crazy. I wonder sometimes. Why would somebody do that? Okay. Now we'll close this. Especially not professional. Oh, for real. Professionals never leave their phone underneath the hood. Ever. <laughs> Where's your phone, by the way? It is here. It is here. All right, all right. You could have left it in my car, you know. Never in, under the hood. Never under the hood. Never. So now, grab this. Wait, take one more visual look. Tighten. On. All the pieces are there. All the pieces. Nothing else. All right. Now we will sit this back on. You have to get a position. Take this out, take this out, take this out as well, just so, you know, you don't want to lose anything. You can see right there, that's the hole. We found the hole, guys. It's not going nowhere. Nowhere. Cap on, engine oil in. Transmission line in. Tools, transmission. One of my little key signatures is always... I'll wipe down your engine for you. <laughs> you know, make sure your engine is looking nice. With the other side of the rag, so it doesn't smear oil all over your engine. Look at that. Now, you got a brand new engine. And a okay, battery. there we go. And that, we did it. It's complete. It's complete. So, <laughs> Now that that's done, what you want to do next? Make you sure you got all your tools. Make sure all your tools. That's it right there. That's what I was waiting for. That's the answer <laughs> right there. Everything good? All right. One more visual check. And that's it. And we're good to go. And you can drive this car wherever you want. Let's do it. Anytime. Anywhere. Any day. <laughs> and you want to shut it. If you wanted to drive with the hood open, you can. <laughs> I would suggest not because it's hard to see. It's hard to see. See? So make sure your hood is shut. Okay. There we go. And locked. And that's it. And that's it. We are good to go. Wrap up. Everything will be cool. Leftover oil. Put yeah. it in some oil cartons. Make sure there's no water in it at all. It, I don't think there's water in take it. Take it to AutoZone. No, there's no water in it. AutoZone. What's their catchphrase? We have we fix cars. <laughs> <laughs> yes. AutoZone. We fix cars. Home Depot. Alright. Thank you. Oil filter box. Alright, there we go. Leftover oil. Okay. You can keep that, you know, if you're running low on oil. Just top it off. Alright, there we go. Good for another. And that is our new week, new skill for the week. New skill for the Changing week. your oil. Changing your oil. Tune all in, right. make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all of the videos. Yep, turn that, yep. get that bell, turn it on. Make sure you guys turn follow Xbox429 on Twitch, link down below. Appreciate that. Go do that right now. If you don't, then the car's going to Your oil's oil. never going to change. Exactly. The car's <laughs> going to leak. Walter right now. Exactly. We're watching. Right, we're watching. All right. All right.